What's up guys, Mason here, and I'm bringing you guys another beginner's tutorial on how to use Sony Vegas. This one is on using the media generators that are built in with Sony Vegas. You guys might notice that I, did, that I don't have any clips imported right now, and that's for a reason, because the media generators generate the media so you don't have to import clips, which is very nice, but they are kind of limited. So I'm just gonna go over them. Uh, starting right here, make sure you're on your media generators tab. First one I'm going over is the checkerboard. I'm just going to drag in some large tiles here. And once again, these are customizable. You can take the tile dimensions, and uh, if you have the square checked here, then it'll make sure that both of them are the same width and height, that they're all squares. You look over here. But if you uncheck the squares, you can make the height different than the width, which is pretty nice. You can make a bunch of different stuff. You can make uh, TV lines like this or you can put that down and put that up you know you can make scan lines right there and then uh, edge blendings you reduce the proportional you can do some cool stuff with that uh, change up the colors create a cool looking effect and just gonna run through a little bit of the presets here we have a split screen which is half white and half black that that can be used pretty cool if you're doing like kind of a good guy bad guy type thing um plaid for some reason is on there uh we have the great and the cool thing about this is that you can put something behind this and it'll show through to it so i'm actually going to import an image here i'm going to put it behind it and see how it just gives it kind of a little effect it looks like a great yeah and then you have fence it's kind of a defocused fence look that's over uh over it which is pretty cool and there's tons of different things here we have ridges gives it a little bit of a nice look and there's just tons of different things in here that you can add that work really well you just play around with the checkerboard uh -huh. got a nice looking horizon here that looks really realistic now moving on to the color gradient, this is actually uh, my favorite media generator, one of my favorite media generators. And it creates a gradient. See, this is just a standard gradient from white to black. And here's the little interface. You have the two little knobs here. First one is gonna be all white because the color selected right here is white. So if I change it to red, it'll be red. And if I pull it over here, there'll be more red than black. And then I can go and select the number two over here, which is black, and I can change that to, let's say, like blue or something. And then I can just mess around with these. I can get them in a different spot. And I can maybe add a new one. I'll stick that in the middle right here. I'll make that like a, maybe a yellow. And you can just create your own gradients this way. Um, it's pretty cool. And the, the awesome things about this is you can create a vignette which is kind of like a little black circle around your clip so like right here is a little vignette and you can't see it because there's nothing behind it so once you can drag my photo in here and you can see how that vignette affects it it's kind of like a little circular focus thing and we can go to the edit generated media and we'll just pull back here and you can see that that actually gives it a nice kind of effect focuses you on the center of it and it's pretty cool and also to get to the media generator you can go over here to this generated media thing and click that and it'll bring up the properties you can drag this in drag it out do whatever you want uh, affect the opacity over here which is how transparent it is so if it's lower then it's going to be more transparent if it's higher it's going to be less transparent so it's just a basic rule of thumb uh, make sure that you edit them and then you also have a few cool things in here like the skyscape and things like that the totally realistic looking desert trick you there <laughs> thought we were in the desert not there's tons of different things in here you can create your own presets just like you do with video effects and then also you got the credit rolls going on here you can drag these over and uh, just Put what you want in here and you can make your own credits it's pretty awesome uh just edit edit the generated media go in here just change what the text says blog or something like that i don't know 
and then it'll update it right there. That's a cool way of creating credits and an extremely easy way of creating credits. Noise textures, these can be very cool to use. Uh, you can change, there's a lot of different noises here. There's turbulent noise, all these different things. You can just scroll through and see what all the different crazy things look like. And then also you can change it. You can make it really tall or really small. And then the progression is just kind of animates it. So if we go back here and we just reset it to standard noise and we change the progression, you can see that it kind of animates it, which is cool. I don't know. It's a lot easier than doing something else. You can just animate a media, media generator right there. We've got some cool presets like the lava preset. If we animate this, it'll look like lava or fire or something like that. Uh, the lightning one. This one. This one's pretty cool. It just progress the lightning. You know, pretty cool. Put lightning over something, like have lightning strike my hotel or something. I don't know. There's a lot of different things you can do here. You got wood. You can animate wood. That looks kind of weird if the wood is moving. I don't know. And then I'm going to skip over the prototype titler because that's for another tutorial. And then I'm going to go to the solid color button right here. And this just has a bunch of solid colors. Really? <laughs> Couldn't tell that by the name. Everything got black. There's a lot of presets in here. And then also you can just drag it onto here and change the color and you can change the opacity and everything like that so it's a really cool the media generators are a really cool part of Sony Vegas and once you start working with them you can start creating some really cool things like if I go over here and I take a gradient and I drop it onto here and then I want to combine it with something so I'll go to my video effects scroll down maybe I'll go to my newsprint and I'll put a newsprint on there and see there you go you got a completely different look going on there now you got newsprint over that and you can excuse me you can change it you can overlay it over something and you can go for a kind of newspaper a comic book type effect <laughs> sorry oh geez and you can yeah you can go for a comic book effect or anything like that you can just play around with it a lot uh, that's the freedom of Sony Vegas and the media generators are a cool part of it so I recommend you guys all try out the media generators I'll be using them in some upcoming tutorials on how to make intros and things like that inside Sony Vegas so I'll see you guys later thank you for watching